appreciate it. Thank you very, very much for calling, Clint. No, I'm glad to know that Jesse's all right. I think it's terrific. I think it's good for you two to spend some time together, really. Well, of course, she'll always be our daughter. No, it's been a nightmare here, that's all I can say. Yes, of course. And you have to keep telling her that she will always be our daughter. Make sure she knows it. Say it over and over again, all right? Thanks. No, that's fine. Okay, I'll talk to you soon, then. And give her my love. Bye. That was my father, right? It's actually considered rather bad manners to listen in on other people's conversations. You didn't ask about me? No, but this is an awful lot for him to process, okay? He only just found out about you and Jessica. Don't worry about it. Natalie, you have to give him time, okay? It's okay. I mean, I don't care. Well, it's easier to say that, isn't it? Easier than what? Easier than talking about what hurts. I think you got me all figured out, huh? No, I don't. That's why I would very much like for us to talk. We need to talk about all of this. We need to talk about you and your mother and Roxanne. I've got a better idea. Let's talk about Natalie's inheritance instead. What the hell are you doing here? Dave, so glad you could join us. Get out. Now, Dave, I don't believe you've met Mr. Dewey, Natalie's attorney. Why is he here? To make sure you get what's rightfully yours. Vicki, he has some papers he wants you to sign. And what do you think is rightfully hers? All of Jessica's legal assets. These papers transfer them to Natalie. You're even crazier than you were before. Look who's talking, Dave. You really think for one minute that we're going to hand over Jessica's assets to you? Not me. Natalie. You don't care about Natalie. You only care about yourself. I'm the only one here who does care about Natalie. If it weren't for me, none of you would give her anything. Oh, and that she's just going to hand it over to you. Look, if Natalie decides she wants to offer me some compensation for reuniting her with her birth mother, I can't help it. <clears throat> Why don't you let me have a look at these papers? I'll just see what they say. <laughs> Paragraph 5 uh, deals with trust fund A, while 6 and 7 hey, pertain to... Hey, your breath, all right? We have a lawyer. And we will most certainly have him look this over. If, if you'll let me explain it, it would help expedite things. But that's quite all right, you see, because we don't really need to expedite anything. I have already explained to Natalie that she is going to get everything to which she is entitled. But of course it all takes time, weeks at least. No, n absolutely not. N Natalie needs her money today. After all you've put Natalie through, you're going to deny her her inheritance? We haven't put Natalie through anything. And as I have already said, no one is denying her anything. But it takes time. And the more time you take, Natalie is forced to go without. She's living here. How's she going without? You either sign those papers right now, or Natalie's going to sue you for everything you're worth. What? <laughs> Natalie. Is this what you want? Don't let her bully you, Natalie. Oh, please. I'm not bullying her. You know how she is. She likes to keep things quiet. Likes to take the easy way out. Tell me something. Just how would you know what I'm like, huh? You know what kind of woman she is. This is your chance to get back at her for the way she's been treating you. No one has ever stood up for me the way you did. Okay, Mr. Dewey, you can go. You you might need his advice, Natalie. If you want her to sign those papers. I don't. You... A couple weeks is fine. I don't need the money. What the hell are you 
talking about? I need that money. Natalie, honey, listen to me. Why should she listen to you? You've been screwing you her the life. Stay ever out of this. Kidnapped her. Natalie, honey. Since you won't be needing me today, I'll be going. You're not going anywhere. Miss Balsam is my client. It's not Balsam, it's Buchanan. It's okay. You can go, thank you. And guess what, Allison? You get to join them. I'm not going anywhere. You're just trying to take advantage of Natalie. No, they're not. The only one taking advantage of Natalie is you, and guess what? That stops today. You're making a very big mistake, Natalie. We had a deal. Good for you. I'm very proud of you. What for? Because you stood up to Allison. Natalie, you will get everything that is yours, I promise you, because I want you to have it, okay? Take your time. Natalie. You know what? Natalie is actually just fine. Maybe there's hope for her after all. Yeah. I think so. I think there's hope for all of us. Natalie. That idiot. She's falling into Vicky's trap. Well, maybe it's time for Vicky to fall into mine. <laughs>